the tutorial. Okay. Uh, I have uh, I have graded about uh, ten uh, the homework of ten students, uh, and I found some of you uh, made a lot of mistakes. Uh, so I want to uh, give you uh, some detailed uh, explanations about these problems. So let's look at the, the problems in the homework. Uh, uh, the, the first one is uh, uh, there is a continuous sig uh, time signal x of t and uh, you are asked to sketch and label each of the following signals. Uh, uh, the first one is uh, one over two t plus two. Uh, so we first need to, our, this is a problem about the time domain uh, transformation about the, uh, the continuous signal. So let's do it step by step. Uh, first, we need to uh, shift, uh, do the time shift. So from x of t to x of t plus two. Uh, let's look at this slide. Uh, 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 we just uh, shift the x of t to, to the left by two units. Then we have x of t plus two. Uh, it is like this. And then uh, we do the time scaling. So from x of t plus two to x of one over two t plus two, we, uh, we stretch the signal twice. Then we have uh, this figure. So we can see that um, this signal, the non-zero values uh, are from uh, minus five to zero, and uh, uh, this value, uh, the uh, the signal, the non-zero values are from uh, minus ten to uh, to zero. So this uh, this is the uh, the problem A. Uh, and I see that some of you uh, do the first do the time scaling and then do the uh, time shift. Uh, it is okay, but uh, you must pay attention that uh, after you do the time scaling, uh, the, uh, the, the, the amount of the, the units you shift is, uh, is four rather than two, because you can write uh, the one over two t plus two as one over two times uh, a bracket to uh, t plus four. So you need to shift the, after the uh, you do the time, time scaling, you need to shift the, the x of one over two t to the left by, uh, by four units. So uh, it is um, uh, more easy, uh, it is easier to first uh, do the time shift and then do the time scaling and uh, reflection. And uh, another problem is uh, to uh, sketch the x of t minus 2t times u of t plus 1. And uh, so we need to do the time reflection. Uh, we have all, we already have x of t plus two in the problem A, it is like this. And uh, from x of t plus two to x of minus t plus two, we just uh, uh, reflect the signal over the, uh, the vertical axis. So uh, the, the original signal is uh, from minus five to zero. The, uh, after the reflection, it is from uh, zero to five. And next, uh, we uh, we need to we need a time scaling uh, from x of t minus uh, two minus t to x of 
2 minus 2t, we compress the signal uh, to one half. So we have this figure. And this is x of t minus 2t, and uh, this is the uh, u of t plus 1. Uh, it is just uh, the time shift of the u of t. Uh, we shift the u of t to the left by, by one unit, and uh, we obtain this figure. Next, we uh, multiply the two signal, uh, signals together, and uh, the, so we can see that the x of 2 minus 2t two times u of t plus 1 is just equal to x of t plus 2t. So the final answer of uh, this, the, uh, this equation is just uh, this figure. And um, uh, this is problem one. And next is the, uh, the problem, problem two. Uh, this is a discrete time signal, x of n. Uh, is like this, and you need to sketch and uh, label each of the following signals. Uh, the first one is x of 3n plus 2, and uh, the second one is x of n plus 3 times delta n minus 2. Uh, so, uh, I use a easier way to uh, to finish this problem. Uh, we can see that we, we just take some uh, some specific value of of, of this signal uh, when n is equal to zero. X of three n plus two is equal to x of two. X of x of two is uh, x of 2 is here, it is minus 1. And when n is equal to 1, x of 3n plus 2 is equal to x of 5. And x of 5 is here, it is 2. And when n is equal to minus 1, x of n is, uh, x of 3n plus 2 is x of minus one and x of minus one is here, it is minus one. So we can see that when n is larger than when n is larger than one or and when when n is uh, is less than minus one, uh, the value uh, the values of x of three n plus two is is uh, are, are, are all zero. Uh, for example, when n when n is larger than five, or when n is small uh, less than minus one, we can see that they they are all zero. So we don't need to uh, calculate their values. So we can uh, we plot the uh, the figure of x of three n plus two here. Uh, there is only uh, there are three non-zero values uh, minus one when n is minus one uh, zero and one and <clears throat> and uh, I see uh, that some of you uh, use the same uh, step use the same steps to uh, to do this exercise, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, they just uh, first uh, shift the x of n to the left by two units, obtain they then obtain the x of n plus two, and then they uh, they compress the x of n plus two by uh, to one third. And then they obtain the x of 3n plus 2. If you um, 
uh, do the uh, if you want to solve the problem like in this way, you must pay attention that after the uh, the compression, some of the uh, the time indices are, are lost. For example, before the uh, the compression, when n is equal to one, after the compression, uh, n is equal to one over three. But one over three is not a is not a, an an integer, so the value uh, is lost after the compression. So only the uh, uh, only the when n uh, the the multi uh, the multiple integers of n before the compression uh, is left after the compression, so you need to pay attention to that. And uh, the the uh, problem B is uh, is a uh, um, uh, it seems much much easier. X of n plus three times delta n minus two, we can just use the property of the uh, the unique Im impulse signal. When n is equal to, uh, when n is equal to, uh, the, this signal on ha only has non-zero values, uh, only has the non-zero value when n is equal to two and uh, it has uh, zero values when n is not equal to two. So we only need to calculate the uh, the value of x of n plus three when n is equal to two. Uh, x of two plus three is x of five. So x of five is uh, is two. So uh, the final result is two times delta n minus two. So there is a, a impulse, uh, a impulse when n is equal to two, and the uh, the height is two. So this is the answer of the pro problem two b. And Next one, uh, problem three. Uh, determine whether or not each of the following signals is periodic. Uh, if the signal is periodic, uh, determine its fundamental period. And uh, the first one, x of t uh, is minus cosine pi t my uh, plus two. Um, this is uh, very easy. Uh, uh, it, it is obvious uh, that the, it is a periodic signal, and the period the period is two pi over pi is two. And the second one, um, x of t is equal to sine. Uh, 3t minus pi over 6 squared. Uh, uh, for this problem, you first need uh, you, you need to use the property of a, of a square of the, uh, the the sinusoid signal. Sine uh, sine x squared is equal to 1 minus cosine uh, 2x of over two, so this equation is equal to one minus cosine 60 minus pi over three over two. And we can, uh, then we can easily find the period period of this, this signal. It is two pi over six, it is pi over three. Um, I see some of you uh, writing the homework that uh, 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 pi over three is a irrational number, so it is uh, uh, it is an aperiodic signal. Um, actually, 
x of t is a continuous time signal. So uh, it can take uh, it can take any value of uh, real numbers. So uh, the uh, the periodicity of the this signal is is irrelevant to uh, whether uh, it is a, a rational number or an irrational number. And uh, next one is x of n. This is uh, this is a discrete time signal, and it is uh, equal to a sine three pi n over five plus two. And we use this. Uh, we check uh, uh, whether we can find an integer n that satisfies this function, uh, uh, this equation, uh, 3 pi n over 5 is equal to pi uh, 2 pi m. m is also an uh, integer number. So we can see that n is equal to uh, 10 m over 3. So we can find a minimum uh, uh, minimum n that uh, uh, integer number n that is satisfied uh, this equation uh, n is equal to uh, when m is equal to 3 n is equal to 10 so the p so the period of this signal is 10 and the next one um, x of n is equal to 2n plus pi over 3. Uh, we use the same method to solve this, uh, this problem. Uh, we check whether there is a... Uh, oh, oh, I make, made a mistake. Uh, here, should, it should be the capital N. Uh, 2n is equal to 2 pi m, then we can we see whether there exists uh, an integer uh, capital N that has satisfied this equation. We can see that uh, when n is equal to pi m, m is an integer, pi is, uh, pi is an, an irrational number, so n is an irrational number, so n can can never be an integer, so it is. Uh, so this signal is uh, an period optic signal. And uh, uh, the problem four. Um, express each of the following com complex numbers in polar form and plot them in the com complex plane and indicating the magnitude uh, or the modulus and angle of each number. Um, I think the A and B are, are very easy. Uh, A is the, the, real, uh, the, the real part of the real part is minus one, and the imaginary, uh, imaginary part is minus uh, square root of three. So we calculate the modulus. Um, it is the square root of minus one squared plus minus uh, square root of three squared is two. And then we can uh, we uh, we we plot the the number in the com complex plane. Uh, the the real part is minus one, and the imaginary part is minus square root of three, and it is uh, like this. And then we calculate the uh, the angle of this complex number. Um, the angle of the complex number. You can uh, you can uh, use this angle or you can use this angle. Uh, 
uh, if you use this angle, it is uh, uh, pi plus uh, this angle. This angle is uh, is pi over three, so it is four pi over three. But uh, uh, we often express the angle uh, between the uh, between the interval uh, from uh, minus pi to pi. It is better to uh, write the, the angle as minus uh, minus two pi over three. It is better. And the next one, uh, four minus four j. Uh, the real part of the number is four, and the imaginary part is minus four, and uh, the magnitude is four times the square root of two, and the the angle is uh, is just this angle. It is pi minus pi over two. So we can plot the, the number in the complex plane like this. And next one, one minus j to the power of six. Um, uh, I see that some of you use uh, always use the the rectangle uh, rectangular form to to solve all the problems of the complex numbers. Uh, you should remember that um, there are two uh, two types of uh, two forms to represent the complex number: the rectangular form and the polar form. Uh, if you find that uh, the you it is uh, very complicated to, uh, to, to solve the problem in the rectangular form. Uh, you can uh, consider the polar form. Uh, maybe it will be much easier. Uh, for, for example, this, this problem, you can solve it in the, uh, in the polar form uh, easily. One minus j, uh, we express the, the, the complex number in the polar form. It, it is square root of two times exponential minus pi over four, then to the power of six. Um, uh, this part square of uh, square root of two to the power of six is, is eight. And this part exponential Minus pi over six over two, four uh, to the power of six is exponential minus three pi over two. Um, uh, we can write it uh, uh, the, the 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 angle uh, between the interval of minus pi and pi. Then it can be written as exponential. Oh, oh, I left. The, uh, a j here, a j. So we can write it as exponential j pi over two. So uh, the the magnitude is eight, and uh, the the phase is pi over two, and the uh, it can be plotted in the com complex plane like this. And the next one, um, square root of three minus j to the power of nine times one plus j. Uh, first, we need to calculate the, the, uh, the j to the power of nine. It is just a equal to j, and then it becomes square root of three minus j times one plus j. It is also very easy to 
uh, uh, to express this uh, this equation, uh, this, this, this number in the polar form, this part is two times exponential minus j pi over six, and this part is uh, square root of uh, two times exponential j pi over four, and then we multiply the 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 magnitude together. It is two times square root of two, and we add the the uh, the, the angle uh, pi over four minus pi over six. It is pi over twelve. So the this is the magnitude and this is uh, the angle. Uh, uh, I think if you uh, want to solve this problem in the uh, in the rectangular form, you need to uh, you need to find uh, uh, you need to find uh, the, the 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 tangent value of uh, pi over uh, uh, over twelve. I think it is uh, it is. Uh, Uh, you need to know the, the tangent value of the tangent of pi over 12. And next one, uh, and this is uh, also a problem uh, that can be solved in, easily in the polar form. So uh, first we can multiply the square root of uh, uh let me see uh, uh it seems that there is something wrong um uh, well uh we first uh we first multiply the square root of the three in both the uh, numerator and denominator, and we have nine plus j uh, three and square root of three. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I. Uh, I think it is. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, uh, it is correct. Uh, and then we. Ca uh, it can be simplified as uh, this equation. And then the three is cancelled out, uh, is cancelled, and uh, the, uh, the the numerator is square root of three plus j, and the the denominator is square root of three minus j, and then we write the the complex number numbers in the polar form, and then we can cancel the uh, the common factor two, and then the angle uh, we uh, the, the the then we can see that the the magnitude of this this number is one, and the the uh, the angle is pi over uh, pi over six minus 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 pi over six, so it is pi over three. It is like this. And uh, the next one, um, it is also easy to solve it in the polar form. So I see some of you uh, use the Euler's formula to, uh, to, to, to represent the exponential, and then they you uh, they Right, uh, they obtain a very complicated expression, and then uh, they don't know how to how to solve the how to find the magnitude and uh, an angle. Uh, but in the polar form, it will be much easier. So one one over j times one minus j 
is equal to minus one minus j and then times uh, exponential j pi over three. Uh, we first uh, write this, this part in the polar form. It is square root of two exponential j five pi over four and then multiplied by exponential j pi over three. And then we can see that the magnitude is uh, the square root of two and uh, uh, the angle is four pi, uh, five pi over four plus pi over three. It is 19 pi over 12. If you, we write the angle in the, uh, between the interval uh, of pi, between uh, the interval between pi, minus pi and pi, uh, it is minus five pi over 12. So the complex number in, the number in the complex plane is like this. The magnitude is square root, uh, root of two and uh, the angle is minus five pi over 12. And uh, problem five, uh, these are very uh, properties of complex numbers. So uh, you need to prove these properties. Um, uh, also, when you prove the properties, you uh, you can think uh, think about it uh, whether uh, it is uh, easy to prove it in the rectangular form or in the in the polar form. You can first uh, uh, the z times z conjugate. It is. Uh, we can write it in, in the polar uh, in the polar form r exponential j theta r exponential minus j theta. So the uh, in, in the angle theta minus theta is zero. So so only the the magnitude is left. It is r squared and this one, z uh, divided by z conjugate. Uh, we also use the polar form, r exponential j theta uh, over r exponential minus j theta. The uh, r is canceled out and the, only the, uh, the angle is left. Uh, theta plus theta is two theta. And then z plus z conjugate. Uh, you can see that when we have uh, multiplication or the, the division, it is uh, easier to uh, to use the, the the polar form to solve this problem. When we have uh, summation or subtraction, it is uh, much easier to use the the, the rectangular form. So. We just uh, substitute the the, uh, the rectangular form of the of z here, x plus j y plus x minus j y. It is two x, two x x is the real part of z, so it is equal to two times real the real part of z, and this one, z minus z conjugate. Uh, we also use the rec rectangular form x plus j y minus x minus j y. It is two j y, and y is the, uh, the the imaginary part of z. So it is equals uh, it is equal to two j uh, imaginary part of z, and then uh, the next one z1 plus z2 uh, squared. We also use the rectangular form x1 plus jy, uh, x1 plus jy1 plus x2 plus jy2. And uh, 
I skip some steps. Uh, it is uh, we can rearrange the the terms inside the brackets x1 plus x2 plus j y1 plus y2. Uh, and then it is equal uh, the conjug after the conjugate it is x1 plus y x2 minus j y1 plus y2 then it is equal to this one and it is the conjugate of z1 plus the conjugate of z2 and the next one a z1 z2 conjugate it is equal to uh, we we also use we here is the multiplication so we use the polar bond a times r1 exponential j theta 1 uh, r2 exponential j theta 2 and conjugate then we can see uh, we uh, when we calculate the conjugate uh, we can uh, a is a real number, so the conjugate of a, oh, uh, 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 is a and r one and r two is also uh, uh, also they 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 don't change, and exponential j theta one exponential uh, j theta 2 is equal to uh, exponential minus j theta 1 exponential minus j theta 2 and so it is a z z1 uh, conjugate times z2 conjugate and the next one z1 divided by z2 conjugate uh, we also use the polar form r1 exponential j theta 1 divided by r2 exponential j theta 2 conjugate so uh, r1 divided by r2 is here and uh, this part we write it in this way exponential j theta 1 minus j theta 2 uh, the conjugate of this uh, the, uh, this part is a real number, so we re rewrite it here. And this part, the conjugate of this part is exponential j theta 2 minus j theta 1. So we can well, then we rewrite this part as the, in the uh, fraction. Then we have r1 exponential j minus j theta 1 divided by r2 exponential minus j theta 2. Uh, this is the uh, um, z1 conjugate and this is the uh, z2 conjugate. So we have uh, approved all the properties of the uh, of in this problem. So uh, if you have anyone or oh, I see some of you uh, ask some questions. Uh, oh. uh, let me see how to how to open the, the, the chat window. Uh, Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, some some of you asked two pi over uh three pi over five is wrong in C. Maybe you ask. Uh, oh, uh, 
you will ask this problem. Oh, 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 I, I understand your question. Uh, you mean if you directly calculate 2 pi divided by 3 pi over 5, then you can obtain uh, a value. Uh, it is, uh, uh, let me calculate it. 2 pi divided by 3 pi over 5. Uh, 10 over 3, right? You, you, you ask uh, uh, if your, your answer is 10 over 3, uh, uh, you can see that uh, th uh, this uh, this signal is a complex, uh, is a discrete time signal. So uh, the signal, uh, uh, the, the time index must be a uh, an integer. So if your answer is ten over three, then it is not an integer. So we must have a multiple of ten over three that is an integer. Then the smallest multiple of ten over three. Uh, that is an integer is 10. So 10 is the fundamental period of this signal. Um, uh, do I uh, have I answered, answered your question? Uh, and next, I, uh, some, some of you ask uh, how does 1 over j times 1 minus j uh, tend to minus 1 minus j. Oh, okay. Oh, it is this one. Um, uh, for this one, you can uh, first calculate the 1 over j. Uh, we can multiply. Uh, we can simultane. Uh, we can uh, multiply j at both the denominator and the numerator. Then the new at the, in the numerator it is j. Uh, in the denominator, it is j squared. It is it is minus one. So. The result of the this part is uh, is minus j. Then minus j times one minus j uh, uh, minus j times one minus j is minus j uh, plus j squared. It is minus j minus one. So uh, this is. Uh, uh, this is uh, this this problem. Um, uh, is there any are there any other questions? Um, after the the tutorial, I will upload the uh, upload the the, the 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 solution of the homework to the blackboard. Uh, uh, let me see, some of you ask. Uh, can, can we appeal for the uh, homework marks? Uh, 
uh, I haven't finished uh, grading the, 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 the homework. Maybe uh, after, uh, I think maybe some of you ha can see your, your marks uh, in the blackboard. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, 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 I think I uh, after I, I finish grading all of your homework, I I will uh, I will uh, uh, put the uh, I think uh, I will put some of the uh, post some of the the st statistics of the. Your, your marks on, on the blackboard, and I think uh, you also can see your your your, your homework marks. And if uh, any other questions, uh, if no other questions, uh, that is the end of this tutorial. Uh, thank you.